You're watching Morning at NTV and we're live from Kampala Swana Conference Centre. I'm Andrew Chamagero. Now, amid the misleading scams, which have seen several Ugandan lose his money, cryptocurrency uses an investment in Uganda that has grown. And to help us to understand more about the cryptocurrency, this and more, we have Mr. Abel Namareba, the country manager. Yellow Card, a cryptocurrency exchange. And this conversation is on Twitter. Just be a part of the conversation. The hashtag is Morning at NTV. And uh, just before Abel dives in, yesterday we saw Twitter, um, it added Ethereum to its a tipping feature. So those of you who are sending in questions with regards to that, if you can make the conversation much more understandable with the yellow card, you'll make sense about the tip of the Twitter on the other side. Good morning, Abel. Morning, Andre. Thank you so much for having me. Well, for starters, we want to understand what is yellow card? Yes, yellow card in simple terms is basically a Forex Bureau and an app. Yeah? Forex but Bureau and an app. Yes. Okay. That's I love a, that. a cryptocurrency exchange. Okay. In other words, we just help people convert things like Ethereum. Yeah. For, you've said you've talked about Twitter. Yeah, yeah. People are asking, what is this? What is this? And uh, uh, I try to explain as much as I can that it's a tip when you give on Twitter. You can tip someone, then that can be converted into some local dollars currency. or money. Exactly. Um, a couple of them don't seem to understand this conversation. Yeah, so let, let, let's, let's, let's talk about Ethereum first. Yes. Ethereum is a, is a cryptocurrency. Yeah. And the term cryptocurrency is like the way I would say local currencies. Yeah. When I say local currencies, I mean the US dollar, the pound. Yeah. There are so many of them. Yeah. When I say cryptocurrencies, I mean mm. things like Bitcoin, Ethereum, yeah. Ripple. There are mm. a bunch. There are over 17,000 of them. Mm. So in the event that you ever receive uh, Ethereum on Twitter mm. and you want Ugandan shillings, mm. you just sign up on our app. Mm -hmm. You send the Ethereum on our app. Mm -hmm. You sell the Ethereum to us. You get the conversion you of the currency. Exactly. The exchange happens. We give you uh, Ugandan shilling through mm. mobile money or through a bank transfer. Wow. Yes. Great conversation. That's what we're talking about. So crypto is still new to majority of Ugandans. What's Yellow Card doing to educate users? Talk about um, the Yellow Card Academy. A couple of my peers, they've tried to reach out to me. I, as an individual, have tried to stay away from cryptocurrency because our fingers have been burnt so much Actually. in Uganda because of scams, yeah. of monies that come and go. And online, I've been reading about uh, the Bitcoin, you know, um, going down and crumbling and crashing and all. Um, it's a conversation most of them didn't understand. From the Yellow Academy, yes. what are you doing to create more awareness mm -hmm. of this conversation that more Ugandans can tap into it. Definitely. We have, a, we have a desire for people to sign up on an app when they understand what they're getting yeah. into. Just like any other thing that you would probably get into in life. You don't mm. just throw in Yeah, yourself. you must be involved. You have to be, inv with you have to be informed in information. Mm. Yeah, so ideally we want people to know mm -hmm. what Bitcoin is, what cryptocurrencies are before they sign up on our app. Mm. So that's what Yellow Card Academy does. It's, okay. an, it's an online place, mm. uh, website, academy.yellowcard.io, where you can get any information about cryptocurrencies and maybe about the scams. Mm. Uh, I think one thing about the scams uh, is uh, normally scams promise quick money, right? Mm -hmm. That's 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 I think I think the ultimate thing that you should yeah. see from them. Quick money. Mm. Normally there is like a hype man. There's somebody yeah. who's there to hype up the room. Please, and, please, and please. Exactly, yes. yeah? Yeah. Of which we are not an investment company. Yeah. We are just like I said, a forex bureau. We just help you exchange your digital coins. Yeah. To currency. To cash. To cash. Mm. As simple as that. Um, who is your regulator here? Yes. Yeah, so ideally, uh, so right now we are uh, with uh, we are we are su we are registered with uh, the Financial Intelligence Authority, mm -hmm. which is a body which works hand in hand with yeah. the central bank. Mm. But we are also in pursuit for the National Payment Systems License with the Central Bank of Uganda. Okay. Yes. Um, so how does one get on the yellow card? Walk us through the entire process. Now I've downloaded the app. Now I'm the happy bit about it, you made it much more simple for me. Yes. That it's. Um, no, an online forex bureau, exactly. to be exact. On an app, yes. So walk me through it. So if if I go on my uh, app, app store or my 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 iOS uh, Google store, how do I get about it? Yes. Yeah, so of course <coughs> it's a free app. You get you for first you first load your data definitely. Yeah. You get on App Store, Play Store, mm -hmm. look for Yellow Card. You find it. You download the app. So mm -hmm. it's going to ask for your uh, phone number. Mm -hmm. So you begin the registration process. Mm -hmm. It's as easy as getting a Facebook account. Oh, you put <laughs> in, nice. You put in your phone number. Uh -huh. They are going to ask for a referral code, which yeah. we have set it as uh, NTV. Yeah. It's going to get you free ten thousand shillings. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, you go through, it, fill in your email. Uh, after email, you of course have to 
take a picture of your national ID yeah. and uh, upload it and take a selfie. Mm. And basically, this is because of, of, of regulation. Yeah? yeah, we ask for that stuff because we have to, to, we have to, we have to report of the, of the person. Exactly, and mm. this this data, of course, goes to the government, yeah. right? So to avoid things like money laundering and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Yes. So after that, you're good to go. Okay. Yes. Um, so there is no fiscal location in case I have a challenge. There is no hotline I can call on in case I've tried all these, but my app either keeps on, you know, crashing or crumbling. Yeah. Or in one or the other way, um, possibly I've missed this conversation, but yes. I can find it on YouTube later. Yes. Uh, do we have a physical location yes, or a we hotline do. we can call? Yes, we do have a physical location. We are located at Swale's house, level four, okay. hard box office. And then you can also reach support at yellowcard.io for any 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 inquiry that you have. Okay. Yes. You see, Abel, yes. in this country, <coughs> the penetration of internet is still lagging. Yes. My people, they w w are used to having a number we can call. Yes. In case, let's take an instance that me, I'm talking to my friends, uh, maybe in a BIM district. Yes. And I'm trying to tell them, that, by the way, yellow card is legit and all that. Do we have a, a number we can call, zero seven something or zero four something that I can call and the support team on that end can baby step me and my team on this end yes. to run through it? So yes, definitely. Uh, so why why we don't have a number yet is mm. because there are so many people scamming people through phone numbers. Oh, okay. But yes, it is something we are looking at. As, as so the firewall on your portal on your website is far better? Yes, it's far better. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, rather than somebody talking yeah. to you and Calling, things okay. like that, yes. All right, but, but we need to think about that. Yes, because that's a, that's a um, very valid point, actually. The more we, um, we, we thrive a lot on, 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 on people, yes. like one-on-one -on -one and all that. Yes. And uh, the other thing is, recently you added what we call the USDT coin. Yes. Tell us about it. The is is it a Bitcoin or USDT? Something I saw something. Are you guys adding up something? <laughs> yes, true. We have added on a new coin. It's called USDT. Mm. So our app uh, keeps four currencies. Mm -hmm. It keeps the Ugandan shilling. Mm -hmm. It keeps the US dollar, mm -hmm. the normal US dollar. Mm -hmm. It also keeps Bitcoin mm -hmm. and USDT. Okay. So what maybe is USDT? so USDT is uh, something called a stable coin. So okay. for it, its its price is always constant. It, it never it fluctuates, doesn't fluctuate, it. right? Yeah. So people use it normally for remittance, basically. Okay. Yes. So ideally, anyone in the world can send to USDT from whatever country. Hmm. You receive it from here. You exchange it to your local currency from here. And oh. unlike Bitcoin, which is always every single yeah. second is going up I, down I according Bitcoin, to the demand and supply. The USDT. Yeah, but but Bitcoin is also <laughs> a very good. It's a very the thing is uh, <coughs> there are so many coins that exist. So yeah. normally when you understand Bitcoin, Bitcoin, mm. you're able to understand the rest. the rest. And why I push Bitcoin is because it's it's it's, it's a big deal. It's yeah. a big deal because uh, it's a scarce currency. Yeah? yeah, it's not like the Ugandan shilling where the government will always keep printing money. Yeah, and yeah, as yeah. the government prints more money, the mm. value of the currency keeps on reducing. Yeah, yeah. Bitcoin, the way, the way it was designed, it was designed to be a currency for the people, and they designed only 21 million bitcoins to ever exist. Wow. And this currency is aiming to serve seven billion people. That's the whole world. Only. So which means every year that goes by. Mm. It, it has it has a characteristic called it's deflationary okay meaning it it goes against inflation yeah. it means that over time the value has to increase in value because of its scarcity L oh yeah so that's what that's what makes it a big deal it's almost like buying gold i tell mm. guys it's almost like buying land on kampala road oh yeah what, yeah. what you're buying yeah, sure. is very in valuable the next 30 years yeah next 30 years <laughs> just just look at i tell guys uh so 10 years back uh, one bitcoin was 1000 ugandan shillings yeah Today, one Bitcoin is about 150 million Ugandan you shillings. It sounds impossible, but that's that's because of the economic factors yeah, yeah, that yeah. govern the currency. Yeah. Okay. So, how safe are people's money? How safe are people's money? Mm. Yes, of course. Uh, we have a dedicated development team mm -hmm. out there. They're working 24/7. Mm. We are a company in 14 African countries, and we are still growing. Okay. Yeah. I would say we're also well funded. Mm. One of our funders is the former CEO of Twitter, mm. Jack Dozy. Yeah. This is these are things you can find on. You can just type Forbes Yellow Card, mm. and you will see that we also raised a Series A funding. Or okay. fifteen million dollars. So okay. we, we, we have we have a good backup. And besides that we also work on a technology called blockchain. Oh. Yes. So is blockchain it in sync with metaverse. I've been <coughs> trying to follow yes. these technologies of <laughs> the metaverse and yesterday um, I, I think I saw a tweet from um, <coughs> Mark Zuckerberg um, saying that all the employees are going forward of Meta, they are called the uh, Meta uh, Metamentis, something of the yeah. sort. So this is the technology we should actually tap into. Yes, this is something that will happen because the world is becoming digital. Yeah? Oh, people yeah. are looking for new ways of revenue. Yeah, yeah people are, new, are looking for new things to do, and mm. that's how the metaverse so comes in. So let me make sense of this. Yes. So if, 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 if I'm in yellow card and, and I'm in this cryptocurrency, so how do I make money? 
So how do you make money? So first of all, we are not an investment company. That's yes, true. But we, we sell something that's investable. Yeah. yeah. So it's like asking me, uh, how do I make money with a, with a normal So if forex? I have my USDT, yes. let me say I have like um, seven USDTs. Yes. And I'm there chilling. Yeah. And I wait. And um, possibly calamity strikes and I need to convert it into currency. Yes. Um, how safe is it for me? So that, that, that's done instantly, but I don't advise if you're looking for an investment, you're looking yeah. for something volatile, right? Yeah. To, when you want to, for, let me give an example. When you want to invest on the stock market of Uganda, you're looking for a stock which is volatile. Yeah. But our stock market is a bit boring, yeah? The, yeah. the, the, the umeme is always constant. Oh, uh, yeah. Empty and dropped in shares, mm. the share value, yeah. right? So Bitcoin is always volatile, yeah? yeah? It's a bit scary, but it's also uh, an avenue to make money. Meaning that if, when you buy low mm. and the price goes up, you can sell at a profit mm. yeah, and make and money. You wait for Just it like the way you'd go to a Forex Bureau saying that, oh, the dollar is going to increase in value in the next two months. So mm. you buy your dollars, you take them home. Yeah, when you it wait. increases, you go back to the Forex Bureau mm. and exchange your money back to your Ghana shillings. But that does not make a uh, Forex Bureau an investment company. Oh, yeah. yeah it just makes it's the just dollar investable. It's waiting and um, right? the, the, the economic uh, uh, forecast yes. and you pay attention it's to It's like it. the way you'd buy land and you wait for it. Yeah? <laughs> and uh, the way you buy land, you won't sell land in the next two months, right? Because it's, it's, it's hard, yeah, to make yes. profit. You have to wait like for a year. Yeah? I hear you. Like it takes time and this mm. is not quick money. And then yeah? it goes up. Yes. Well, Abel comes from the Yellow Card. Uh, Uganda here is the country manager of Yellow Card. Well, it's a cryptocurrency kind of an agency. You need to understand these things, how they work. Um, how can people access their money in case they're tired of having the crypto? You exchange and you give them the cash? Exactly. We give them the cash through mobile money, which mm -hmm. is instant, or That's through a bank thing. transfer. Inclusion which is, is there. Exactly. Inclusion. We are trying to mm. compensate everything. Every so how does one notice that this is a scam uh, when it gets to cryptocurrency now that you're in the business and you're well entrenched in it yes first thing mm -hmm. quick money there's no quick money in this world everyone okay. should know that you must Ugandans, achieve it you must earn it you have to you have to work hard for mm -hmm. it yeah uh hype men people mm. who hype you up to invest in something yeah mm. those are normally people who are shady yeah mm. and maybe i think the most part is for some you everyone has to do their own research yeah, yeah? that's the the fundamental of any investment that you ever find want find the make. information find information first before mm. you go in don't go in because man maybe sk mbuga has made a lot of money <laughs> in Bitcoin, right? yeah, i'm just saying yeah? <laughs> yeah i'm just saying but it's beyond it's beyond seeing somebody driving a benz yeah, yeah. wearing a suit there is yeah? a lot more there is a lot with more it. that comes with with uh, with just what like pe people have their ways of oh, yes. frauding you right yeah. yeah but don't don't be deceived by just seeing somebody yeah. okay so, yeah. well going on twitter a couple of you thank you so much Owa Olag um, that is on twitter he says uh, thank you so much Andrew for this conversation uh, we need more of those conversations and Andrew are you on cryptocurrency <laughs> I am not but I'll talk to Abel. I'll get to know where it's coming. Esther, it is to say the very good morning, Andrew. Thank you so much for the conversation. If Andrew, you jump on it, I will actually jump on it. You, you know how you influence us. Kenneth Sonko says it's a great conversation. I think the world is evolving, and we need to tap into that. Thank you so much, Kenneth. Then a day turn ninety two, guys. The names you use on Twitter. <laughs> Think about us on this end. Um, he says, I love this conversation, but uh, one thing is, how do we get to them on the other platforms? Well, um, he already said that just go look out for yellow card. Uh, and when you find it, uh, how does it look? What's the logo like? Well, the logo is, uh, is cards, yeah. Okay. Just like this. Okay. The way you see uh, how it's open, just look for yellow card and it's, it's talking about the cryptocurrencies. I've seen a couple of my colleagues actually uh, pushing this kind of conversation, the likes of Brian Mlondo. Yes, Brian Mlondo. And um, uh, Brian and me, you know, we are. We are brothers, yeah? So just if, if you can't understand this more, just follow Brian Molondo on, on the digital platforms and you tap on the yellow card feed, go about it. I will join. And when, when I join, you'll see me posting about it and then you'll actually be part of this conversation. So Abel, what could be your parting shots to the people who would love to join the yellow card? So uh, maybe just a short story, yeah? Yeah. So I had uh, 800,000 in my VAC, yeah? Mm. I was looking for something to invest in. Mm. I, I approached the bank and they'll give me an interest of 4%, right? Mm. So That's it a fixed. It exactly fixed. Mm -hmm. So it meant that my 800,000 after a whole year mm. would, would get, get me a profit of 32,000, mm. right? So, but besides that, that year, maybe the, the inflation rate is like 3.5%. Mm. It meant that uh, my 32,000 would go in inflation, right? Oh so yeah. I wouldn't have made money, mm. right? That's when I discovered Bitcoin, right? Mm. It's something scarce. It's very valuable. Mm. It's, like I said, it's like buying land on Kampala Road. Yeah. Just imagine... 
a plot of land and somebody just sells to you a teeny piece mm. of that Two land. billions. Yeah? <laughs> like, like, very, like, they sell to you, like, what land. We what, call them decimals. What, exactly, decimals. <laughs> yes. Let's say they accept 15,000. Yeah? Oh, yes. L yellow card accepts a minimum of 15,000 shillings wow. of, of Bitcoin, right? Mm. So you're buying something with whatever money you want. Mm. And that's, that th that's something you're buying, which is Bitcoin, is mm. very valuable. So it's almost like buying land, really. Yeah. yeah? Buying, like, buying gold. Mm. Yeah. So to me, it's a very good investment. Well, there you have it, my fellow Ugandans. The world is changing. We need to tap into the changing times and the dynamics at play that we can be at peace when it gets too money. Well, that is Isabel from a Yellow Card Uganda. Now that you know, research about them, read about them. Before you download the app, be much more acquainted with the information and then make a very informed decision. It's Morning at NTV. I'll take a break for now and I'll return shortly. Good morning. <laughs>